Okay, so after removing the heads off the Donor Explorer Roller 5.0 motor, uh, we discover some pretty nasty carbon buildup here on the tops of the cylinder piston, or the pistons and the cylinders. All the walls seem to be pretty good, but the actual pistons themselves are pretty gross. That one's probably the best one out of the batch here. That one's got some real caked on carbon. That one too, so might be from it running too rich or crappy gasoline, you don't know. But at the end of the day, I'll show you how you can make this look like this. This is going to be a multi-part video here, but this is kind of after uh, probably about two and a half hours of cleaning. I don't really know how long it took me, but this is about two and a half hours of cleaning using normal everyday household cleaning cleaning products that don't have a shit ton of carcinogens and odors and you know hazards and everything else you got to deal with so there you go there's the uh, there's the after and there's the before so I'll splice all these videos together so you can see them and uh, if you have any questions let me know and uh, make sure you check out Mach1Restoration.com. I got pictures of all the cleaners I use and some in-progress pictures and whatnot. So check it out. Okay, here's the finished result after probably about hour and a half to two hours cleaning and polishing and then of course oiling and then cleaning off the block. Uh, let me hold the camera here and I'll try to rotate the motor so you can kind of see these cylinder walls. real good there's like no scratches on this block at all no scratches on the cylinders or nothing so yeah guys that's uh that's what a little uh time and patience will get you no need to no need to use any harsh cleaners or chemicals or anything all you need is some good old-fashioned Brillo pads, SOS pads, whatever you want to use. I have both. Um, little, uh, oh yeah, I also used some scrubbing bubbles bathroom cleaner uh, for that piston right there, because it was a bitch. And then uh, if you want to save your thumbs, you can go ahead and use my 
I have a trusty, rusty little uh, Harbor Freight uh, grinder with the uh, brass bristled brush. I will suggest whenever you're using any kind of power tools like that, please wear your safety glasses because that wants to fling little pieces of bristle brush everywhere. So anyway, that's how it uh, that's how it looks after you give them a good, good cleaning. All you need is a little elbow grease and some time. No need to take it to the machine shop. All right. <laughs>